Welcome to Carta Pogo. My name is Jens Lima dos Santos. Today I want to continue my lesson about the blues in A. The last video was about the blues scale, how you can play it in diff uh, on different positions on your uh, neck on the guitar. And today I want to take a simple blues lick. In the first part of the video I explain how to play the lick on different positions. And in the next part of the video, in the second part, I integrate the same blues lick with uh, some uh, chord playing. So please follow me and let's go to work. Now we come to the blues lick that we want to play in different positions. We start here down on the guitar again. We do a little slide with this finger, with the second finger on the D sharp going up to E. D sharp B, D, C. A, G, C, A. Again, slowly. Dim. Open string, C, A, open string, G, C. The finger, just like, you can just let him fall on the next string. Okay. still in the same position yeah you could say I also want to start with a slide but in this case I would play the open next string it's a nice bluesy dissonance you could also play but I like this one also easier to play. Next spot, same lick. Normally uh, we play uh, these notes when we play in this position. But now we, we use for the slide the finger that is supposed to be in the place where it belongs in this position. So we start with a pinky and do the slide. Next spot where I found the possibility to play this, we do the slide from the D sharp to the E on the G string, from the eighth to the ninth fret, then play the G, and then the C on the same string, A, and then the G, the C again. This is a kind of big stretch, a stretch on a acoustic guitar. And this finger just falls down on the next string because if you move it like this, you won't get there on time. Okay, this position here looks kind of the same. We start with a pinky. On the A, A string, we have the D sharp here, we slide up, play the D, on the same string, 3rd fret, same string. Okay, then the open string, <laughs> Third, I had to think. And then the G on the E string, low E string. And then the C again, and the A open string. Now we are in the 10th position. My first finger is in the 10th fret and I can find with my third finger the D sharp, do the slide from D sharp to E, then the D and the C on the next string. And from the C, we going to uh, whoa the A, then we need a G, the C again, and the A. And the twelfth position. 
My first finger is here where the flageolets are. I can find the E in number 14, fret number 14 on the D string, but we need to slide the D sharp to the E. Going back to the D on the same string. And we need the C, that's number 15. Then number 12, A, number 15, G, C again. Just the pink is just like falling down. You lay it on the next string. C and the A. Hope you can see it. Find it kind of difficult to do the slide on these uh, strings here, up here, and not so slippy. <laughs> In fret number 16, I find the D sharp again. 17 is the E again. It's all on the B string here. And I use my pinky to do this. D sharp, E, D. C is here on the G string. Also, number difficult to count the frets here upstairs. Uh, 17. And this is number 14. And 17 again. 17, 14. We have the D sharp here in the 11th fret, sliding up to the E. Then we need the D on the B string. That's number 13. No, 15. And then the C in number 13. 14 is A on the G string. And the G. C, A. Okay, what I try now is to play the lick and to combine it with the rhythm. Also do it here up. Yeah, sometimes I just skip a note, the last note in this case. Last example, I just uh, used the A7 chord, added the 7th here again, and then the sharp 9 here. It's nicer if you just like grab them immediately. Another variation of the same chord would be an open A string, and then you have here the G, C sharp, G, and the C. And you could play it like this. Or immediately another. Ok, 
Okay, the last one that I want to uh, present for today because there are a lot of more possibilities, so check it out yourself. Uh, be in, uh, feel inspired. <laughs> um, I'm using this A7 chord here. We have the A, then um, C sharp, then the G, and the C. So we have a sharp nine, A7 sharp nine chord. And the lick before that we started in this position the eighth fret we have the third finger sliding up to the E and then we play them to play it a little bit funky. Thank you everybody for joining me here, starting this blue flick. In case you like it, subscribe, leave a comment, like it, share it with your friends. Thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun studying this blues lick. And uh, please, if you like the video, subscribe, leave comments, communicate with me, leave some video responses. You would make me very happy with this. I really hope to see you on the next video. So please don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.